Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why isn't this union manifesting. So we're going to take a look at what is perhaps blocking you or your person, or what is preventing this from flourishing and manifesting in the way that it naturally should. This is going to be a general reading. So please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address below the video here where the show more section is. Um, otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and um, let's take a look and see why your union here isn't manifesting. And perhaps what you should, what you could do to maybe um, remove some of these blockages. Interesting. Quite an emotional depth to the energies here, guys. So what is exactly preventing this from happening? Alrighty. Bottom of the deck, you have the bull card here. Wow. The devil below that. Now, this person here, um, your romantic energy feels very drawn to you, okay? They feel very drawn to you. They feel very drawn to your energy here. They, they feel a sense of connectedness, okay? Now, this is someone who I feel like naturally is very guarded or very emotionally reserved. But with you, maybe not right away, but with you, this person um, has started to feel very comfortable and has slowly let their walls or has you know lowered their guard down for you this person feels like they can trust you okay they feel safe with you they feel comfortable which is pretty rare for this person and for this individual and for you you're probably starting to feel the same okay being a water sign you guys are naturally reserved here and um you might build your walls up so high but we all know that it's just it's a defense mechanism, right? You're only protecting your very gentle and fragile hearts here because you're you're capable of uh, so much love that you tend to lose yourself in it, drown yourself in, you know, a flood of emotions here. So you know what you're protecting here because lucky is the person who ends up receiving your love. So this is someone who I feel like a connection has built slowly with this person over time, okay? It feels like each it might have been a love at first sight okay because i do feel like there's such an intensity here the first time they've laid eyes on you they felt very attracted to you this is someone who feels like you are extremely good looking someone who's very attracted to you physically here someone who feels very drawn to you like they want to be near you they want to be around you they really want to be intimate with you here this is someone who feels good when they're around you here and i think it's uh, reciprocated right think you're feeling the same way so very strong sexual chemistry a very it's undeniable it's electrifying it's like there's a charge in the air um it feels and as i as i was saying it feels like the emotions here have grew and have built over time okay and it feels like the more you see each other the stronger that you feel towards one another or the more attracted you be you know you are towards each other it feels like some of these barriers or blockages that are preventing this connection from moving forward here is that 
it's not as simple it's a bit of a you know a complicated state of emotional affairs i do feel like it's likely that this person may be attached to someone else so they could be in a marriage in a partnership in a relationship with someone else in a de facto they could be trying to work things out with an ex or they may still have an ex that is lingering around circulating around their energy here this could be you though you could be the one that's in a relationship or in a connection with someone else but you feel this emotional intensity towards this romantic energy and you can't but feel you can't help but feel attracted to this person like an insect you're drawn to their flame their energy here very intense something about something about this feels like you know it feels so right even though it's wrong so this is why i feel like there is a um someone here is attached someone here is emotionally unavailable someone here is in a relationship um, or in a connection with someone else they want you though they want you what they feel with you is something that makes them feel so alive i feel like this person is in complete awe of you i feel like this person is they don't even know what to do with themselves here when they're with you they don't even know what this is it feels so intoxicating it feels so consuming they're addicted to you they're addicted to thinking about you they're addicted to seeing you they're addicted to being around you this is someone who is drowning in their thoughts and their feelings of you it's project because it can't be expressed i think it's becoming very it's a becoming a very heavy energy okay and it's like I think the both of you are feeling are feeling this energy because you both seem to be mirroring each other, right? You both share this connection and this attraction, but neither of you are able to express this connection. Sorry, this express this attraction, express your emotions because something is getting in the way. It's either your um, you know, your relationship or your connection with your current partner or theirs. It also feels like maybe this is someone that you work alongside with. It could be like a boss or a superior, um, maybe they're a client. Or maybe you're seeing them as a client it just feels like there's this you know a sense of professionalism or there's these professional standards that need to be adhered and maintained otherwise it feels like you potentially could be you know jeopardizing or they could be jeopardizing a reputation or you know um career here this is someone who is thinking about you this is someone who i feel like is when they're not with you they think about you and they can't wait till they see you next so maybe you don't see each other every day, but this person counts down the hours when they do see you. It is very complicated and there is layers because even though they're in a relationship with someone else, they spend a lot of their time thinking about you. They think what it would be like to feel your touch, to, you know, to taste your kiss here. They think about what it would be like to be embraced in your arms. And I think, it, and again, I think the feeling is mutual. I think that with the suit of pentacles energy i think that this person is i i also feel like this person is scared of rejection okay which is why maybe they haven't made a move towards you yet i think this person this is someone who i feel like is naturally closed off and naturally guarded and someone who wears very heavy emotional armor so before they make a move they want to be sure that this is real even though it feels electrifying they want to make sure that this isn't something that they're making up because once they make a move they can't undo that move okay or once they say something they can't unsay it right once you put it out there it's out there that you know it's circulating out there so this is why this person you know this person feels like they want to be sure every touch everything that they say is carefully articulated it's very thought out okay this is someone who i feel like is very careful because they they're wanting to maintain an air of professionalism around you or this is someone who i feel like doesn't want to you know overstep any boundaries and doesn't want to put their reputation or your reputation at risk here yeah. this is also someone who doesn't want to lose you whether as a friend as a colleague as a client here i feel like because if they say something and you don't reciprocate or you reject them not only would that painfully hurt them and their feelings but it could also tarnish their reputation or their career you know what i mean so there's a lot at stake here this person is thinking about how to approach you and how to approach this situation this person thinks about you okay this is someone who i feel like the next time you will see them i i feel like there's something happening here i don't know what but i think even if it's something very small for you, it will feel like it's on a big scale because 
maybe it's something that they say or maybe it's a, a touch that is going to linger a little bit longer than it normally does but i think next time you see them I, I think there is something here i think they're going to try and break through this force field i feel like they're going to try and it's like they're testing you okay they're testing to see if you're reciprocating or if you're just as attracted to them or you know if, if this is okay to go ahead with i see i see some form of unexpected action or even unexpected something that they say might take you unexpectedly by surprise okay so what's blocking this connection isn't so much it, it it feels like there's a few things in the way here but can you work around those things yes okay now i'm not discouraging i'm not encouraging okay i'm not encouraging any immoral behavior i'm not encouraging um you know anything like that but it feels like it just feels like even if this person isn't in a relationship or isn't attached to anyone else or if you're not for that matter and if it's you know if it's just the this the professional the notion of a professional space or setting you can find a way to you know navigate around that right Mm. feelings are growing feelings are intensifying they're also waiting i think they're waiting for a little bit more time with you before they make a move or before they say something i feel like they want a little bit longer here and i think they're testing you they are i'm seeing that they're testing you in the things that they say or do because it's not that they're playing mind games with you it's just that they want to know for themselves that they feel as though they're building an emotional connection with you but they also want to be sure to me it feels like this is a person who wants long term and who wants stability and they want to make sure that you fit that narrative someone who can offer them stability and security all right guys thanks so much for your time and your attention please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel if you're after a personal reading please feel free to inquire bye for now